One of the most interesting things that you can do with the Google Chromecast with Google TV on it is to control it with a number of different things. Now, a mouse and a keyboard become incredible tools with this, but we do need a few accessories. So let me show you how you can create this wonderful control interface for you and every app on the device. Now, we will need a few accessories and then you're going to be able to use both a wired or wireless set of mice and keyboard and I'll show you what I'm using later in the video. First, we have a hub from Anchor and a power cube that I purchased from Anchor and I'll give you some of the specs here as we go, but this is called a 7-in-1 USB-C PD Ethernet hub and what we're going to use it for is to essentially connect all of the different components that we're going to set up. So it has a couple of standard USB ports, an Ethernet port which you don't need for this, and then it has an HDMI, a micro SD and an SD and then a power input port there for you. Now it also has a connected USB-C connector here and that is going to go into our display and I'll show you what I mean in a minute here. They also give you a little bag or a little carrying bag for this anchor hub, this specific one. The power cube I bought is a 60 watt power port Atom 3 and you might not need all of that wattage but I think in general this is a great choice for you because you can connect other accessories and I've even connected webcams to do Google Duo calls. So you'll notice this is a USB-C input. You could use a different input, but I don't think you want to go any lower than 48 watts. Now I have a USB-C to USB-C cable and that is because of the power cube and I'm connecting it from the power input into that power cube and now I have my power situation set up. Now that cable that's already attached to the Anchor Hub is going directly into my Chromecast. That's because it's the display adapter. One thing I want to note is what you got with the Chromecast itself is a USB-C to a standard USB cable. You're really not going to be able to use that with this specific setup, but you can look at other power cubes. What we'll be doing now is plugging in the keyboard and mouse into these USB-A ports and this will help you to choose the devices you're going to pick. Now I have a couple of wireless versions and you can see them plugged in here. You're going to want that type. So my keyboard is one with that specific wireless dongle that goes into a USB-A port and then the other critical component is that it is powered by batteries and my mouse is really the exact same thing so it's a version that has that wireless dongle connects into USB-A and then is also powered by batteries. Once you have those things, I think you're going to find this kind of a setup really great. Now, my versions of these keyboard and mouse are fairly old, but you're going to be able to find relatively similar additions below in the description. Now, after that, what you're going to need is the additional hidden tips and tricks that we have in our larger video about the new Google Chromecast. Go check that out. Otherwise, thanks for watching. And of course, don't hate, automate.